morning guys welcome to another episode of wild over adventures today we are hunting wisconsin gun deer opener it was right around 5 30 a.m just making my way to my stand it's a pretty cold morning 20 degrees Let's see what we can do. So stay tuned, guys. It is probably around 6.30 or so. Got up in my tree. It was very quiet. No wind today. Which is really nice. Probably about 20 to 25 degrees. It was 20 degrees when I left my truck. Get up on my tree to hear some footsteps, but I don't know what they were. So, could have been deer, could have been raccoons, I don't know. But, oh, I hear movement. That's the thing about hunting public land. Whether he saw me or not, I don't fucking know. Property over here, right? Yep. You see that stand right there, right? The which one? The one in front of you? Yeah. I can barely see it, but right where you're standing? Okay. So, uh, you got all this property and you pick right on my border there, huh? Sorry, man.
I apologize, sir. Hey, not a problem, man. I just want everyone to have a safe hunt, so. <clears throat> Thanks for being nice to me, though. Hey, not a problem, sir. Yeah, good luck to you, too. I'll be out of your way in a few minutes. Well guys, <clears throat> well guys, it's about 8.45 a.m. I should still be in the woods right now, but here I am in deer camp. Oh my God, in the woods this morning around five. Five this morning, it's still dark. Set up my climber, climbed up. Set up my camera stands and everything up in the tree. Heard some movement this morning. Probably deer or maybe raccoons, I don't know, but yeah, right around probably around seven o'clock or seven thirty ish. It was already daylight. You can see everything pretty well. And I was uh, actually in the middle of videoing my intro and all of a sudden I heard some ruckus. I was like, oh shoot, deers are coming. So I got ready and lo and behold, it was another hunter, so apparently he was hunting about 75 yards from me. I did not know that. I was about 75 yards at the at the least from private land too. So he was a private owner. Or I got permission from that landowner or whatever. I don't know. But <clears throat> but yeah, he was uh, kind of pissed off. He came in making a bunch of noise. I don't know if you have the video camera picked it up. But, but he was dragging a string. He was like pulling real hard. I could tell he was pissed. I think he walked right by my stand and he's like, hey, don't you know that this is private land over here? And I was like, yeah, because there's a lot of deer trails and I was well within my rights. So I was at least 75 yards from the private land. So so nothing illegal about that. And uh, he, he didn't say much after that. So he just climbed his tree. And then I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Is it really worth the uh, attention and whatever here? It's been a while since I hunted. I don't want no beef with anyone. I don't want anyone that beef with me. So out of respect, um, I told the guys, hey, I'll get down, no problem. No problem, so yeah, I got down the tree as, as fast as I can. It probably took me 20 minutes or so, but it seemed, it seemed like it took forever. But yeah, here I am, back at the truck, and yeah, it's not worth Getting into altercations with anyone. I mean, especially with a lot of racial tension with with us uh, Mongs and and whites. It's it's not worth it. <clears throat> it's like why cause trouble when you don't really need to. Sometimes better to be the bigger person and just leave. I mean, I was there first, and uh, I was on public land. I was well within my rights. I could have stayed, but no. He owns the land right there. He's he's sitting right on property land property line so so I decided to be the big person and just just leave so so this morning my hunt is kind of ruined I was looking forward to seeing something but but since I left um I haven't heard any gunshots so probably nothing has come over by there with all the ruckus that he made going in and all the ruckus that I made coming out so yeah I was not I was not expecting this I knew I was hunting close to private land um, so I didn't think that was in, anyone was going to come in there I didn't even see a stand uh, about 75 yards from me either. So, yeah, that's my that's my morning. But here I am, back at dairy camp. Just started this fire again. And I pretty much just wait for the guys to get back. So, here we are. Maybe I'll hunt the evening. Maybe I'll leave tonight. I'm not sure yet. So, if I feel kind of... Defeated at the moment, but but yeah, this is my first time hunting in ten years after my father passed away. So I just wanted to get out here, enjoy what I what I used to love doing with my with my pops, and 
<clears throat> my pops he loved uh, deer hunting so you know we never really missed a season until he passed away 10 years ago and then ever since then I just haven't hunted I haven't really fished too until about four years ago when I once I moved to Minnesota got married and my my brother-in-laws they love fishing so they kind of got me back into fishing and then uh, then this year, 2020, I started my first time small game hunting. I went out three times this year. My first my first time I was pretty successful. I got, I think it was three squirrels. And then <clears throat> the second, third time, I didn't get anything. I didn't see anything, so I didn't do any recording. But I thought I figured I'd come out here, enjoy, enjoy the woods with my brother. He's a real big deer hunter too, so he hasn't stopped hunting since uh, our father passed. But but uh, everyone has uh, different morning stages, I guess. But yeah, I'm just glad to be out here enjoying Mother Nature. I know my father would want me to be out here, so just enjoying the woods. Doing what he loved to do. So, yeah, we'll see what happens next. I don't know what's going to happen next, but maybe I'll go find a new spot. I don't know. Maybe more people will come here and here. I don't know. This is public land, so, I mean, you never know what to expect. But, yeah, just be the better person. Don't get into any, any applications. I mean, everyone has guns and weapons not worth it so yeah big props to the guy too he was even though he was pissed uh, he wasn't belligerent or or being a being a butt or anything like, like that so he was pretty pretty professional so which which I was pretty happy about that so I even thanked him for being nice to me so yeah he kind of chuckled but <laughs> but yeah when you're out in the woods man everyone's got guns you just gotta be nice Especially what back, what happened way back then in Rice Lake, Wisconsin. So we don't need any of that repeating. We don't need any more tension between Asians and whites or blacks or whites or whatever. I mean, we all bleed the same color blood. We just have different languages, different beliefs. So it ain't worth it, guys. But. Yeah, I'm just going to go enjoy my campfire. Maybe make some breakfast. Enjoy Mother Nature, you know. Let's continue with Day Camp 2020. <laughs>